grace to help us in our time of need. Surely as we look at the world at the moment, we feel a time of need, of great need, in our human society, in the relationship between nations, war in Ukraine, the continuing conflict in Yemen, the tensions between North and South Korea, between China and Taiwan and the other Western nations, the tensions in the Middle East. Our time of need as we face a climate emergency and an environmental crisis. Our time of need as so many are displaced from their homes because of conflict or this climate emergency because of poverty or famine, the refugee crisis that we cannot ignore. The crisis of doubt in our democratic processes as this government struggles to re-establish some sense of trust and integrity. The crisis of the living, uh, the cost of living crisis that is burdening so many of our fellow neighbours and people around the nation. Surely this is a time of need as we emerge from a pandemic and all its consequences on the health of our nation, of our young people, the mental health pressures on them, the crisis of truth and fake news. Surely we can say to God, this is our time of need. But centuries ago, these Jewish Christians, so different to us in their language, in their, their understandings, in their lifestyles, so many things that we have that would be miraculous to them. Think of their lives, so often burdened by poverty, not just relative poverty, but absolute poverty. Some thrown into slavery, some trading, but always unsure what persecution might arise within the great and brutal Roman Empire. They were in a time of need. Some were questioning whether the, the, their faith was enough, whether the gospel would get them through, and some were slipping away. Some under the pressure of persecution from nation, from the authorities, from their fellow people, their fellow uh, families, were drawing back. And whoever this writer was, he writes to challenge them to hold on, to keep going. This is such a precious thing that has been offered to you, that you've glimpsed in this Jesus. This Jesus who is so human, experiences temptation, experiences suffering, experiences the cross, experiences even death so human and yet so divine that he is superior to the angels. They've been offered this precious gift of someone who will be standing alongside them in all the challenges of life and standing before them, before their God in mercy and love. He was tempted in every way, but without falling into sin, 
he held on to his God, even in the times where God was absent in his mind. He held on. Remember those words from the cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus senses a separation from God at that moment, and yet he holds on, my God, my God. In Gethsemane, not my will, but your will, O Father, be done. Tempted and tested, and yet still holding on. The very radiance of God's glory. A glory not of military power or wealth, but simply of love, the greatest of powers. In our time of need, we too can come to that Jesus and discover that God who is both great and compassionate and merciful. The God who is bigger than all the the so-called big people, the celebrities, the powerful of our world, the Putins and the Trumps, bigger, so much bigger, and yet so much more loving and gentle and humble. It is our time of need, not just as a world, as a globe, as a nation, as a local community, High Wycombe, a hotspot for food banks, for food poverty. It's not just the time of need for our nation or our community, it's our personal time of need. And that will be a time of need in many different ways. Perhaps for ourselves, perhaps for our family, our friends, our loved ones. In the midst of all that, we can find the confidence to come to God. To one who is able to feel sympathy with our weakness. The weakness of humanity but not drawn into the sin of humanity, of pride and selfishness and hatred. The love that is greater, bigger than our imagination, yet is here in our midst, touching us very closely. Draw close, the writer says. Don't hold back. Don't turn back. Hold fast. Come with confidence to your Saviour, your Lord. Let his light, the radiance of God's glory, shine in your dark place and in the dark places of our world. Amen.